Welcome back to the 49ers SDX DNA of a play joined by 49ers hard hitting free safety Mr. Jimmy Ward breaking down a couple of plays from the 49ers week three matchup against the Green Bay Packers. I want to start off with one of the first plays of the second quarter. Uh, you've got Aaron Rodgers. You're you're I mean, they call you the eraser. You're in the middle of the field. You're kind of surveying what's going on. And on this play, it's like you went right to where Aaron Rodgers was going. Break down this play for us and just give us a little insight on what was going on in your mind, how you knew where to be and how to read that play. First and second down right now, we noticed their favorite route, one of their favorite route concepts was Kansas Special. And that's basically it's a special route with the running back uh, included in the route too as well. So in man coverage right now, I had to read Rodgers. So as I'm seeing the uh, guy in the X, well, the Z come in motion, I'm trying to hold off the special route for our linebacker, Fred. As you can tell, he's in coverage too. So I was just going to take away the deep throw and throw it to the low man. I was going to help them, help the linebackers, help the cornerback, take away the deep throw and force him to throw the ball in the kill zone. And I feel like it was a great rush too from the D lineman. As when I press play, you can tell like Aaron Rodgers had to let go of this ball, had to look at that rush by the D line. Let me go back. Ooh, I like that. Almost a perfect circle. Aaron Rodgers still made a throw and look at the pursuit. And that's one thing I did too, is when I came down to make the tackle, if you notice, I took away a side from him. Like, so I didn't want to come right down, head up with him. That, and then you know, the wide receiver has a two-way go on me. As I come down, I'm taking out the outside. I'm getting outside leverage should I say, and I got all my pursuers, my other player teammates coming at different angles. So if I know he cut back, somebody's gonna make the tackle. So uh, come down, I do that, cut back, made the tackle with the help of Fred. So uh, this is the same play just from another angle. We get to see Aaron Rodgers, like what he's looking at and how good of a quarterback he, he is. Uh, so as you, like as you can tell, our linebacker Aziz, he's, he's blitzing, but he's holding the disguise pretty good. Uh, I want to say he didn't show it until probably three or four seconds left on the play clock, in which I feel like that was a really good job because uh, with elite quarterbacks like Aaron Rodgers, you, you got to hold the disguise where you don't know, uh, give many tips of what we're doing. Um, so when the motion, when the jet happens, Aaron Rodgers notice how he tries to look me off. But he noticed, wait, it's a blitz, and, and if you can see this, let me rewind that to show y'all this. Watch Nick Bosa on this play right here. Had to get rid of the ball. He couldn't even look off, and that's why I was able to go down and make the tackle with the help of my fellows, my teammates. And that's all I got for y'all for this play right here. Great communication by Kwasi. Good coverage. You can really see it from this angle. Want to jump to this next play. It's not necessarily a Jimmy Ward tackle, but you were just loving on your D-line and what they've been able to do. But this is one where uh, Eric Armstead got that uh, lone sack of the game. Just talk to me a little bit about just what you saw out of the D-line and your teammates uh, here on this play. So, okay, it's third down, third and eight. And how Aaron Rodgers looks like he's checking because he feels, feels like his man. He's either reading me and he's reading Kwasi. He's really smart too. You kind of got to gotta hide all the hand signals too with Aaron Rodgers. So we kind of changed that up throughout the week. By the time then, it's too late and the rush is, the rush is too good. Who has the one-on-ones? Let's pay attention to who has the one-on-ones right now with our d lineman. Somebody always get double teamed and it's going to be an opportunity for somebody to win one-on-one. -on -one. And as you can tell, Eric has his one-on-one. D Ford has his one-on-one. Uh, they gave Bosa his one-on-one. Kinlaw was double teamed. And with the pressure from everybody, it looked like everybody won, won a one-on-ones. And Eric ended up having a great, amazing play by getting the sack. He overpowered him. Kinlaw did his job and he beat a double team. With them rushing like this, it just allows the DBs just to play so much more faster and so much more tighter coverage. And that's why they always say DBs and D-line, it goes hand in hand. And even Fred, everybody can feel that pressure because we got eyes back to the quarterback, so everybody can feel that pressure. See, Fred has this check down 
his back coming out the backfield, but as you notice how he can see, notice how Fred can see the pressure. So he's not as tight. He sees Aaron Rodgers trying to scramble and run for their life because four Giants are trying to sandwich him. Be more good coverage. Yeah, great play. Oh, I'm gonna see that celebration. We got the celebration on here? There you go. There you go. There you go. Not an Eric Armstead sack without the Eric Armstead celebration. You can't understate the importance of a stout D-line. Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch emphasizing that over the last several years. But with that, Jimmy Ward appreciate the breakdowns of the plays. Would love to see more of what Jimmy Ward's got in store in 2021.